My favorite memory from the recordings was for the first five days being deathly ill. Maybe it was three days. No, I didn't really like being sick. I was drinking honey and I had so many cough drops. And, but I really didn't have to do much, so I just kind of got to sit and watch everybody do stuff, and that was fun. It's always fun hanging out with Matt Patrick at the studio, at the library. Uh, I would say probably my favorite memory would be having John Seavers come in and record trombone. It was our first time ever using brass. So it was kind of cool, like having him come in. I got to sort of direct him and then Hannah, uh, my wife, played trumpet. And so I got to like <clears throat> stand out while we were recording and uh, sort of conduct as we went through the stuff. That was pretty cool. Hopefully we get to do that more. My favorite moment from recording The Path was actually getting into the studio. You're getting all the equipment set up, getting all the mics in place, and then sitting behind the kit. Once all that is done and you're ready to go, and Matt is about to press uh, start on the recording is probably one of my favorite moments. My favorite moment from our time in the studio was probably when we recorded the very last note on the path. That whole project was just very intimidating and it was a huge weight off my shoulders when it was all done. When we would start the songs like all together, I know that we recorded pieces like just focusing on drums or just focusing on guitars, but we would always start with like everybody playing together before breaking it apart. And that was just like the beginning seconds of every song when it was just like, oh wow, we're really doing this. I kind of just like the being able to go, uh, go over to Matt's recording studio and just uh, have something to do, but still be able to hang out with everybody. And uh, as she said, play at the beginning all together, but then you know, be able to listen to people practicing their parts or going into the background to um, either help with recording uh, video in the back or just listening so you can remember what you're supposed to play. The Disciple Show was super stinking fun. Having like students and friends from the city I live in there and getting to show them our music was a lot of fun too. Um, I feel like a lot of the students uh, that I had at work didn't really know what my actual playing was like, and hopefully it was good. <laughs> Seeing people's response to Django Fett. Like, we started that one, and I just kind of saw some, like, shocked faces across the crowd, like, what is this? Breakthrough never plays this. Is this even Breakthrough? And then the reception of it afterward, like after we finished the song, everyone went crazy. We got to do a whole bunch of dancing and that was, I, when we were learning how to dance, I kind of thought it was a little stupid. But then when we actually started to dance, I really got into it and uh, saw how excited the crowd got and got to use dance moves that I love doing. My favorite part was when we got to take out the kazoos and had a little like, Dancing with the kazoos. Those are fun. Anytime we brought out kazoos, people went nuts when we brought out kazoos. Kazoos are underused. Poor underused instrument doesn't get the recognition it deserves. When we were walking up on stage for the Disciple Show, because not only were we about to open up for one of the bands I've always wanted to open up for, but we were also releasing the project that is the story of our band. The path was 15 years in the making. It's about every challenge we've had along the way. It's about every hardship, every lesson we've learned, and the way that those have contributed to where we are now. It, it strengthened our resolve. As a band, we've learned that no matter what happens, as long as you keep your faith in God, you're gonna be okay, because he's got your back.